A shopping center on Madison's east side with a history of crime and drug related activity is in the spotlight again. This time because a group of business owners that work there are trying to make the place safer and more welcoming. War Jollis explains their push for change. Madison East Shopping Center doesn't have the greatest reputation in town. After all, it was here that a local nail salon was the target of a drug raid last summer, and business owners say the problems have only gotten worse. One of my employees a couple weeks ago was taking the oil out to the oil dumpster, and a couple guys were back there. One of those business owners is Christine Amy, owner of Christine's Kitchens. And he um, asked them politely if they could move so he could do his job, and one of the guys obliged and the other one wasn't too happy about it and swung on him. She says drugs and loiterers are starting to drive customers and families away. And business owners here say the issue has gotten so bad recently that they've enlisted the help of city and county leaders as well as the Madison Police Department. People trespassing, loitering, asking for money. Uh, they've seen people using drugs. East District Captain Lamar Gary says the department is familiar with the problems and working to make it better. We have asked the patrol officers to provide um, extra presence at the shopping center, specifically with the goal of trying to reduce the trespass, um, the drug sales, and the drug use. Amy and other business owners are working hard too. She and neighbors are hoping to bring a farmer's market and even a public garden to the center to make it more welcoming again. Honestly, I want my staff and myself and my neighboring business owners to feel comfortable when they're coming to work. That's the real goal. In Madison, Warjalis, 27 News.